The LA won the community vote and is the next mob coming to Minecraft. But maybe you wanted something else. With the official Minecraft Entity Wizard announced during Minecraft Live, this is now easier than ever before. You won't need to know any coding and it also creates all the files for you with a click of a button. And later in this video, I'm gonna show you a model that I made with the Entity Wizard and put into Minecraft. The Entity Wizard is a Blockbench plugin and Blockbench can be installed on your PC, but it can also be used on any device with a web browser. This way, you can use your phone to create a really cool pet or monster to show your friends later. Meanwhile, while your parents are driving you home from your training or during your breaks in school. To help you out, I've added all of the necessary links down in the description below. You download or use Blockbench at blockbench.net. From here, you want to go into File, Plugins and search for the Entity Wizard in the Uninstalled Plugins section. Remember that you can pause and go back over this video whenever you need to. When you now return to make a new project, you will see this big yellow bar at the top. Unless this changes in any future releases of Blockbench, in which case I'll make sure to cover that in another video. Once you get used to it, from here it will take about a minute to make your custom mob and spawn egg appear in game. Let's go! Here you write the name that Minecraft is going to use in game. The identifier is only for the code. Here you can type for example something column and the name of your mob. Important to know is that the identifier must be in lower case. Now you can select any mob that exists in Minecraft and this is going to add its functionality to your own custom mob. If you want your mob to explode when it's near a player, you would choose the creeper. If you want your mob to fly, you would choose the bat. And you can use any existing Minecraft template to make your own custom mob behave like an already existing mob in game. On this page, you choose what your mob is going to behave like in game. Do you want the creeper to explode or do you want the creeper to fly around? Maybe you want your zombie to fly and shoot fireballs like the ghast. Then you would select a different behavior. But doing so may break the model's animations, so be careful. The colors of your spawn egg are chosen here. But maybe you want to have a hamburger for your hamburger mob. Then you would choose a custom texture below instead. In the game, now you would see a hamburger instead when you hold the hamburger spawn egg. It is now time to export. Export the folder makes a new pack for you. Integrate into pack allows you to take your new custom mob and put it into a pack where you already have a bunch of other mobs you've made. And if you want to share your creation with all of your friends, then you can export it as an MC add-on. And then you give this package a name. What will it be called in game when your friends see it? Here you can write who made the pack. And below you can also select an icon for when people see this pack in game. And now our package is done and our mob exists in game. But wait a second. What if you want to add a custom model? Now it will probably take quite some time to make the actual model. But don't worry about it because I have an entire series here on the channel where I explain Blockbench in detail and I'll link it at the end of the video. I have decided to take the creeper and I'm gonna make the creeper into a walking bomb with really cute eyes. And I'm gonna call my custom creeper Bombie. The way I'm gonna do this is by taking the creeper's body and shrinking it and making it bigger on the side. And then I'm gonna take the head move that and change it into only being a pair of eyes. I'm also now going to retexture it and then export it into Minecraft. And this is where I imagine that many will get stuck. But don't worry, all you need to do is to go up to file. Below export you will see something called save model. Click that. And then you want to go to animation, save all animations. And on your textures, which you find through the paint menu, you want to make sure that your texture has been saved. If it hasn't, you will see a small save icon next to the texture on the list to the left. In Minecraft, you can now add this custom mob to a world that you've already made or a new world. In the world settings, go down to behavior pack and activate this new custom package that you've added to Minecraft. Now, let's open the world and see this mob in our game. You will now find the egg of your mob at the end of the list of all the other eggs in Minecraft, or by searching for it up here in the top bar. Okay, let's see how it looks. Oh, that turned out really nice! You know what, I'm gonna share this package with everybody in the community discord. So head over there if you want to grab it for free. You know what time it is? Let's add a crazy model to Minecraft! My mission has always been to inspire and guide people to their ideas. So with this model, I'm hoping to give you a taste of what's possible. Feel free to follow me on Twitter and visit my Sketchfab page for more inspiration. Jump cut and we are back inside of Minecraft. Holy, that's a big thing! Um, well, it's big because I made it big. So, I'm calling this one The Shadow Knight to Mecha of Eternal Darkness. Or just Big Giant Guy. Yeah, we'll call him that. And yep, he's an Iron Golem. So, I suppose he could be pretty useful to have in your base. If you now feel inspired and also want to learn more about Blockbench, then check out this video series I prepared for you. Good luck with your models and reach out if you have any questions.